Just finished a 5K run. 33 minutes, three seconds. Not the greatest. Didn't feel that great doing it. Struggled to get out of bed and to uh, make it happen, but I did it. So, another day of training. I think I'm still recovering. My muscles are still recovering from the half marathon I did on Sunday, the training run. So, whew, pretty tired. Gotta get ready, have a full day at work. It's gonna be busy today, but that's good. All right, bike ride tomorrow and more training. Keep it going. I'm at the Roundup for Spanish Hills. This is the grill I'm gonna be cooking on. We got vendors setting up out there, pony rides. That's gonna be the dessert station over there. And we're gonna do this. Tri-tips are up on the grill. This is gonna be for the grilled chicken. That's the grilled chicken, barbecue chicken, tri-tip. Sunday morning just dropped my car off at Firestone and riding my bike back home it's gonna go for a longer bike ride today but Santa Santa Clarita fire the sands fire is happening right now and it's pretty hazy with smoke out here so it's taking my time getting back no big deal probably ride my bike back to the car anyway later this afternoon strong it all fits board right here. let's go make some pasta sauce so I can have some dinner I like skateboarding but I think a boosted board right now would be a lot better This is slightly uphill. Going that way. Back home. And that way was the store. And it was downhill. A lot nicer. Anyway, maybe one day I'll get a boosted board. All right, we're making pasta sauce today. Day off work. Cars in the shop. Just got back from the skateboard ride, and this is what we're gonna do. I'm not making it from scratch, so I'm just gonna let you know now. I'm gonna doctor up the sauce. So, take some onion. This is the fast forward part.
right now I'm adding some ground turkey, Italian seasoned ground turkey. I'm trying to lighten it up because I am adding regular pork sausage and pork meatballs later. So I got this all ground up in here and browned up. It's going to be delicioso. The sauce is in, it's going. We're gonna set it for the low temperature. There we go. Set high, not high, low, start. Now it's just gonna chill out in there for a while, stir every once in a while, and then I'll cook some pasta later. Picked up some garlic bread, and then it's gonna be good. So that's how Sunday's going today. And you can check out outside. It's pretty, uh, pretty hazy out there from the big fire. So I was gonna do a long run today, but that's not gonna happen. Plus I'll probably have to go ride my bike to the shop to get my car later today. So that's what's going on and check you later. Thanks for watching the vlog. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. It is going to be a really busy day. I have a menu launch tomorrow at the club and total, not total revamp, but 75% revamp of the menu and different concept is going on. So I need to prepare for that. I need to do a lot of sauces and garnishes and get ready. I have a photo shoot tomorrow for the food because uh, we're getting these electronic menus which are very cool and what I have in front of me is kombucha that I make it takes me about a week to make about a week and a half I used to ferment it longer but I don't like the sourness of it so I, I ferment it for about a week about 10 days and this time I made a cherry black cherry and this is a ginger, fresh ginger and lemon. You see all the ginger on the bottom. So my plan is to, I did it for a while, then I stopped. But my plan is to drink one cherry kombucha in the morning in this cool glass. And then one ginger lemon at nighttime. Lemon helps. Ginger helps with digestion. 
kombucha, if you don't know, has a lot of probiotics in it, natural probiotics, helps with your gut and your flora and things like that. And there and there is my shake for today. It has chia seeds, all kinds of cool stuff. Chia seeds, flax, ground up. I put hemp seeds in it, bananas. Today there's pineapple. Um, still using the Vega protein for now because I need to use it up before I switch over to a different product. Probably use Arbonne. And that's it. So here we go. This stuff is an acquired taste. But after a while, it's not that bad. I tried to drink it straight, couldn't do it. So that's what's going on here. So I take green tea. I'll do a, a vlog on how I make this. But this is green tea based. Uh, take 10 bags of green tea to every gallon of water. And right now I'm making them in one gallon batches but I think I'm gonna to switch to making them in two gallon batches so I don't have to make it as often. Um, I didn't second ferment these, so they're not as bubbly as I wanted them to be. Uh, so next time, I'm gonna second ferment them for like two days, just like beer. The beer you do longer for a week or two, depending on the recipe. And the sugar that's in here that you add from the juice starts to carbonize. Uh, the yeast, the natural yeast in here, starts to carbonize it and do its fun stuff. So, it's supposed to be good for you. I think beer is also good for you because it has the same type of stuff. It has yeast and all those things too, so it just contains alcohol. Some of these kombuchas do contain alcohol, so there are some in the store that you have to be 21 and over to drink. And... Don't forget, drink what you love.